Good day, people. Welcome to another online tutorial with t Collections. Today, we'll be making a turban cap with a knotted design. And the materials needed will be our fabric, scuba or any stretchy fabric. You can use a, a, a light fabric, um, lycra or any fabric that is cool with you. Our tape room, needle and thread, pins, and our scissors. Let's get started, guys. So, what we need to do is to cut out our turban base and our band. The measurement for the turban base is 12 inches wide by 12 inches long. And the measurement for the turban band is 4 inches long by 12 inches wide. And remember, it is on fold, meaning it, when you open it up, it's going to give us 24 inches. And you can act, we can actually just measure the our, our head circumference and put our head circumference here, divide it into two, then put it whatever you get here. If your head circumference is 20, you divide it into two, you will get 10. Then add 5 inch for your sewing allowance. If your head circumference is 20, it's, um, 21, divide it into two and pull whatever measurement you get on four. I'm going to take this to the, to the machine and sew it together. And for this tutorial, our after band, our band is going to be round. It's not going to be V. It's going to be round. I've sewn my cap together, and I left three inches allowance from the band area here because I'm going to be putting in part of the knot inside here. For the knotted design, the measurement needed is eleven inches wide by. By 35 inches long, 11 inches wide by 35 inches long, and 11 inches is not on fold, it is straight. But if you want to cut it on fold, that will be 5.5 inches wide. So, what we are going to do now is take it to our sewing machine. The right side will be inside, then we are going to just run a straight stitch just from the beginning here to the end here. I've sewn it together and I've turned it back like this. So what I'm going to do now is to let this, this stitch be at the center, the middle and the back of the material. Then I'm going to make a knot this way. Just like we are tying something this way. Let me do it again. And I'm going to make sure we tie it from the middle. We pick it from the middle. You can fold it in half for to get your midpoint. This way, now draw it out. This way, so this is our knot. This way. So what I'm going to do next is to take it to. Get our cap. We can get our mannequin head also. Turn the cap to the, the right side. Place it on it this way. This way. This flat side that is longer will be at the front. And make sure this the sewing part is at the back. Place it on it this way. Take it to the back. You can use your pin to hold it down so it will move. You can then remove it. Use your pin to hold it down at the midpoint here. Pin it down. On the cap this way, then we'll turn it to the back. So the reason why we pin this down here is to secure the knot to be in the middle. So right now I'm going to take this like this, straight, then 
put it inside the o we left then just fold it into two a bit that's at the edge making sure this is straight this is straight the other part this is straight you don't you don't fold this you don't fold the knot material then you take it to your machine now then stitch it up stitch it up i've stitched up the space i opened i left so the next thing to do now is to gather the base from this side not this band this time around from this part we gather it from this part till we get to this part i've gathered up my cap at the back so i'm going to be turning it this way I'll remove the pin I used in securing the cap at the back, at the front, rather. Then what we are going to be doing next is to either leave it this way, is either you leave it this way, or you use your needle and thread to just tack from inside not making sure the tacking won't show on the upper part you make sure you tack it with the inner with this one with the inner one so to avoid it moving this way i've secured my cap from moving about it's not this upper part that can move about i've secured the rest from moving so we've come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to send in your questions if you have any. And also, practice makes perfect. Let's say in our practicals. Thank you for watching this tutorial.